Hey guys, I am Foxtrot Delta, and welcome back to some more Star Trek Legacy. And today I have two Akula class ships and uh, one Centaur class uh, ship, and I'll be using these ships in the original series era to fight both the Romulans and the Klingons at Agilon. Uh, now we have both the Romulans and the Klingons on uh, easy AI, so hopefully I can actually destroy them. And I uh, have our Federation allies on uh, medium AI because they don't need to be on any other AI. So yeah, we have five response, and it is possible that we could win, and it is even more likely that we will lose. But hopefully they will be stupid enough to go right through that gaseous cloud, which will strip them of their shields, and they have a ravenous class. Why do they have a ravenous class? Why could they choose, like, some brels or something? Okay, I'm using this powerful phaser on my bottom here, on the ventral area. I think I'll call this the Ventral Phaser Cannon, because that sounds cool. There we go, it looks powerful. I don't know if it is powerful, but it looks powerful. There we go, alright, there's a Ravenous class. Destroy the Ravenous class at all costs. I don't care what it takes, we will destroy them. Their shields are down. My shields are down. I don't need shields. No. Hold on. Slow down and fire. There we go. Okay, we are low on power. Did a little cool flip there. Nose up and fire. There we go. That's how we do it. Switching to Centaur class. Firing on the Ravenous. Actually, it's the Kutun, but I can't say that. Some still call it the Ravenous. Because it is a Ravenous class. Ow. Please stop shooting me. Okay, somehow none of, none of my ships have been destroyed. So that's pretty positive. We are taking lots of casualties on board our other ships, but we are holding. So that's always good. We are holding our ground. Well, our space. Shields are dropping. Oh, it's this guy again. Come on, drain your shields. Fire the photons, do it. Hey, Miranda, how you doing? Come on. Their shields are down, firing the photons. Lots of chaotic things are occurring right now. I may or may not fly into that nebula, that would be bad. Because that would mean I have no shields, and their nacelle popped right off. Or their engine pod, because I, I think Federation starships have more nacelles than uh, the Klingon ships. Ah, the Stormbird. Come on. Fire. Maybe it'll lock on. It didn't. Okay. Come on. Turn. And wait for... okay, nope, alrighty. I think this is still the first ship that I had, like this is... yeah. This has not been destroyed yet somehow. I don't know how. Come on, fire, fire, fire. Shields don't go up, there we go. That was pretty cool. Next target is the D3. Is that the Enterprise? It's the Constitution. Moving into attack position. And fire! I love that lower phaser. Okay, let's turn around. This is no Destroy. Is that the last ship? That is the last ship. I am victorious. 
All right, so I got seven kills there, our allies got nine kills, and <laughs> the Klingons and Romulans got two kills total. Okay, I thought they got more, but apparently not. So that took just under four and a half minutes. If you guys enjoyed this battle, if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave it a like, and if you are not subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, if you guys did not like this video, I apologize for that. Please leave a comment in the comment section and tell me what it is I can do to improve the next videos that I make so that you guys can enjoy them. And as always, if you want to see any specific type of ship or battle scenario, also feel free to leave a comment in the comment section about that. I will read those and I will try to use those ideas in my future videos. So as always, I am Foxtrot Delta, and I will see you next time. Thank you.